Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your third Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about something that's pretty important within Java and all other programming languages, and that's variables. So variables are basically a way to just store data within Java, um, and variables can hold values. Uh, depending on what type of variable you're using, you could hold text, you could hold characters, uh, numbers, uh, decimal point numbers, uh, stuff like that. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about two specific types of variables, and those are string variables and character variables. If you remember back to the previous tutorial where we created the Hello World program, we actually uh, used a string, and the Hello World that we printed to the screen down here in the terminal, uh, that text was considered a string, and we'll learn more about that in just a second, but let's uh, take a look at what we have going on here within Eclipse. So we have uh, a Java Tutorials folder, and within that we have a string tutorial.java uh, file, so our class is named string tutorial. And within our class, we have the main method so that we can actually go ahead and run our code. So let's go ahead and create our first variable, uh, a string variable. So when you're defining or declaring a variable within Java, you need to give the variable's data type first. So you got to specify that. Then you got to specify the variable's name. And you can call a variable anything you want so long as it is not the name of the variable's data type. And then you just assign a va value to the variable after that. Uh, so it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we say string. And that's our variable data type. So a string is just a, a series of numbers, letters, uh, symbols, um, all put together if you'd like. So string, and keep in mind that string is capital S, and that's because the string is actually a class within the Java library, and all string variables are considered objects of that class. Uh, but we don't really need to worry about that right now. Just uh, for right now, remember that the string, uh, the S in string is capitalized. So we'll call our variable my string, and you can call it whatever you'd like and we'll assign a value to this. And in order to do that, you just put an equal sign. And the equals sign in Java or programming is not necessarily saying something's equal to something. It's an assignment operator. So basically, whatever's on the right side of the equal sign is being assigned to our string variable called myString. So let's go ahead and use some uh, quotation marks to assign something. And we'll say this is a string. And then we'll go ahead and use the semicolon to terminate that line. So when you go ahead and run and compile this, you'll notice that it's going to compile because everything's correct, but nothing happens. Uh, so within Java, we can actually print the value of a variable to the screen, similar to how we printed the hello world uh, text to the screen. And we can say system.out.println. And we can put in the name of our variable my string, which is holding this text right here. And for a variable, you don't actually have to put in uh, quotation marks. You can just throw the variable's name right inside of the print line statement. And if we come over here and run that, you'll notice that our text from here that we assigned to the my string variable got printed to the screen because we specified that we wanted to print the value of this variable. So let's go ahead and create another string variable. So we'll say string my second string equals another string. And remember to put your string within quotation marks. Uh, and just to show you that what we can do with a string, we can add some numbers to here. So we can say, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can add some symbols. So we'll just go across and do something like that. So if, again, if we go ahead and compile, you'll notice that nothing's changed. Uh, this is a string still gets printed because we haven't actually done anything with our second string. We can go down here and create another system.out.println statement, and we can print my second string uh, to the screen. And remember, just we don't need quotation marks for this. And you'll notice that our first string gets printed, and our second string gets printed down below, and it prints everything within that string. So the numbers, the symbols, uh, and everything like that. Another thing you can do um, with printing variables is actually something that's called concatenation. And that means you're basically just combining one variable with another. And what we're going to do to do that is uh, we can print out, for example, string, uh, our system, dot out, dot print line. And we can say my string, which is our first variable, plus my second string. And since um, it, it might look like we're going to try to add them together like mathematically or something, but because the compiler knows that there's a string stored in this variable and a string stored in this variable, it's just going to add these two variables together, uh, something that's known as concatenation. Uh, we could, for example, have a string that's composed of all numbers and another string composed of all numbers, um, and then just combine them together. And they will not be numerically added together. They'll be joined together as a string uh, because of the choice of data type. So when we come over here and run this, you'll notice that we have our first string, our second string, and then both of our strings combined together due to concatenation. So another uh, variable type that I want to talk about today is a character. 
And characters can be useful for different things. It's similar to a string, but, but different because you can only use one single character. Um, so let's come over here and we'll define a character by going char uh, or char, depending on how you pronounce it. And you don't need a capital C there. And you'll notice because it's a primitive data type in Java, it's highlighted as purple, whereas string is a class. So char, we'll call it my char equals and when you're defining uh, or declaring a uh, character variable, all you need to do is just use uh, single quotes to define the variable. So we'll say my char equals uh, a, and we'll just end that line there. And we can go ahead and print this. So system dot out dot print line my char, and we'll just compile this. You notice that the, we printed out all of the variables we had um, before, and we printed out the character. So um, this is just two types of variables that you have in Java. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about a few more variable types or data types that we have. Um, so please feel free to continue on to that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments or tweet me at JamieMCG on Twitter. And thank you for watching.